In today's video, let's use DaVinci Resolve to copy the color grade from a clip to another clip. We can also use the copied color grade in Affinity Photo. So let's get started. I am in DaVinci Resolve and in the Edit tab I have two clips in the timeline. The first clip has this nice sunny glow which I want to apply to the second clip. To do that we need to switch to the color tab. In the color tab we need to make sure we see all the clips. To do that we can enable the clip section by pressing the clips button on the top right. Now that we have the two clips showing, I can command or control click on the clip from which I want to copy the color grade. As you see, this selects the clip but the original clip is still active. The active clip is always shown with a red outline. In the selected clip, I can right click and select shot match to this clip. Also, as you notice, our active clip has got the same sunny shine to it. That was pretty easy, right? A quick disclaimer before we move on. Even though this works quite well, your results may vary depending on the clips. Now the cool part is that we can export this color grade as a LUT. This allows us to use it with other applications like Affinity Photo. I can right click on the active clip where the new color grade was applied to and then select Generate LUT followed by 65 point cube. This will open up a save dialog where you can give it a name and select the folder where the LUT file should be stored. Perfect. Now let's quickly switch to Affinity Photo and apply this LUT. Here I have a screenshot of the clip from Resolve and to apply the LUT we can simply apply a LUT adjustment. Press the Load LUT button and select the file we saved previously. Awesome, have a look at that. That was pretty easy, right? The cool part is that we can also use this technique with photos. Here I have an image and I want to copy the color grade to this image. Before moving on, make sure that the images are stored on disk and if I switch to Resolve, I can quickly import them in our project by using the drag and drop function. With both of them still selected, I can now drop them to the timeline. In the timeline, make sure the time pointer is on the image we want to recolor. Just as before, we can switch over to the color tab. The image we want to recolor is now the active clip. Command or control click on the other image, then right click and select short match to this clip. Awesome! We can use the export function as explained before. Back in Affinity, we can apply the LUT adjustment to our image we want to recolor using the LUT we just saved. And there you go! I want to dim the effect a tiny bit on the highlights, so I'm going to open up the blend ranges and lower the right control point with about a quarter. This makes the sky a bit brighter compared to the skin. Perfect! Here is the before and here is the after. Let's quickly compare with the source image. And I think we did a pretty good job. Thank you again for watching and until the next video.